We are joined at this hour by five-time world chess champion Vishwanathan Anand to talk about this very big moment in India's sporting history, a tournament of many firsts, Anand. Uh, and of course, uh, India has the chances of making it to the podium. Thank you for very much for uh, being on the show with us. Anand, the event is happening in Asia after 30 years for the first time in India and for the first time a torch relay is happening. Now, how does India stand to benefit from all the fanfare around the event? It's very exciting. As you said, it's about this whole thing is about first. First chess Olympiad in India, first chess Olympiad in Tamil Nadu with record participation. More than about 185 countries are taking part. Um, it's just so exciting and it seems like this was the perfect moment as well. We have very, very good, evenly balanced teams. We have lots of um, uh, enthusiasm. The chess audience has grown during the pandemic, so even the timing couldn't have worked better. And then the starch relay, sort of the, the icing on the cake, you know, it's, it's a nice uh, tradition to introduce into chess, again, because clearly uh, the Olympic torch and it's a very important and uh, significant um, thing. And the relay will, uh, I think, leave a lot of people with uh, pleasant memories of uh, the excitement to building up to the Olympics. Now, FIDE recognized India as the home of chess. How does that help Indian chess after all these years being recognized as the home of the sport? I think it's a historical fact that most historians uh, feel that chess originated in India. Obviously, these are not things you can prove, but uh, the consensus seems to be it most likely home. And um, it's good that uh, this is recognized, but in the end, it's, um, it's something I knew already. Let's put it that way. Well, India can be, can India now be called the powerhouse of chess, almost 30, 73 to 74 grandmasters in this country? By some measures, yes. There are uh, things like uh, participation, especially junior age group participation. Um, I mean, we bring our sheer numbers to it and uh, it's very, very popular uh, amongst parents to get their kids involved in chess and it's a very healthy thing. And by participation and so on, we are very, very big. Um, there are other measures by which we have to catch up. Um, but organizing the Olympiad is a fantastic way to start. I mean, this is one of the biggest events in chess that we were lacking. And now we're going to have it here. Uh, that will auto automatically bring us to one of the top of the organizing countries. And hopefully then we will have more tournaments, more uh, big events. And eventually I hope more and more players in the top 10. Uh, Vishy Anand, you returned to top 10 after 32 months. Uh, but what really kept you away from playing the chess Olympiad? I had already made up my mind not to play the Olympiad. I mean, I'm okay. playing much less. And that was part of the decision I took, that I would play less, uh, play a few events, but also start to do other things. So I, I have been working uh, on my Anand, uh, Vesper Janand Academy. I have been uh, uh, dabbling in other areas. And that was just part of the plan. I, I felt that uh, um, it's a more reasonable target for me nowadays. And I'm happy that in this reduced uh, level of playing that I was able to have this very good result in Norway and get back to the top 10, but um, um, I'm sticking to the decision that I will not uh, play uh, official competition. It's quite phenomenal. Uh, when, when we look at the field these days, uh, the chess field is getting younger by the day. You are not the first to be above uh, 50 in top 10, but do you think you could be one of the last players above 50 year of age? to be in top 10 because of the way the field is getting younger by the day? It's going to be a very rare achievement in the future. I mean, I, I wouldn't uh, put a full stop to it, but uh, it's going to be very hard. I think many players already in their mid-30s are wondering how long they can keep it going. So, uh, 40 is already the kind of new 50, if you want to say <laughs> that. Uh, but when I was growing up, there were 70-year-olds playing at and um, I believe all these computers and the, 
the physical um, effort involved in playing chess, the sheer physical effort, mm-hmm. um, studying so many games, remembering so many things, being able to play, playing more and more formats, all that. is pushing it heavily in the other direction in terms of age you are uh, mentoring the indian players who will be participating in the olympia tell us about the 20 players who will be in the field their chances of winning medals from this olympiad yes so um, we have our um, a and b teams so a host country gets two teams but then i think if we have an odd number of teams worldwide then we get to field an extra team to make it even so that all the pairings can happen so i don't know if that's confirmed yet but we have uh, the possibility to have three full teams same for the women and what is nice is that we didn't have to create a special category called juniors or something like that the juniors made it on bracket into the top two teams so we have i think 5 and 5 roughly in the top two teams um players below the age of 20 and players above which is a nice kind of symmetry there and uh, i hope this will also be a big breakthrough for our women because it gives many of them an extra chance another four or five to participate in the second team and a few more hopefully in the third team it's a, it's a big big stage big opportunity and it could only have happened because it's happening in india so uh, i'm hoping that uh, both our uh, men and women shine this time now anand i'll have to ask you about one special player pragyananda he is the third uh, indian to have beaten magnus carlson with the way he has evolved do you see him as the next vishwanathan anand from india he's had a spectacular year basically what happened is that he impressed with his performance in online events and therefore he got invited into the Carlson tour mm-hmm. and what that has done is that um, he was expected to be one of the participants producing a good result but in fact he qualified for the knockout stage yeah. and went all the way to the final where he lost a very narrow match against uh, ding from china but what was even more impressive is that he was threatening everyone he could have beaten ding and actually won the tournament so people stop seeing him as a junior and see him as someone who is now able to take on the best and the effect it has had on him is he no longer uh, feels that everything he does is a surprise mm-hmm. he feels this is how it should be and I, i think that confidence is coming to him now you'll still have to work very hard to do this but that confidence helps because knowing that something is believing something is possible is a big thing and um, he's done phenomenally in this He has beaten Carlson twice, which is again something very few people have done. Uh, he's beaten him twice in the tour. Uh, he had a sensational performance, and now he's participating in the whole tour. So he gets to play the top eight players in the world month after month after month. Mm-hmm. And uh, in fact, right after the Olympiad, he'll be traveling to Miami for a tournament uh, again with the world stop. So a lot of doors are open for him, and it must be a very exciting time for him. But he's grown as a player, uh, and um, I'm very excited about his prospects. It's fabulous to see how uninhibited he is, uh, given that he's so young. Now, coming back to the field uh, for the Chess Olympiad, twenty players from India. Your prediction for medals? We have a good balanced team, like I said. Um, only the US team outranks India, and, and uh, by the way, every other team in the world. So the US uh, team is uh, a ranking favorite on every single board. But leaving that. As I said, we are competitive against every team in the world, and um, I see no reason why we cannot uh, uh, win one or even two medals. But nothing assured. I mean, the Olympiad will be played day to day, and thanks to certain other trends like the use of computers in preparation, and all, there are even teams that are lower ranked than us. We are not going to blow away. So it will take a lot of effort and uh, motivation, but. I think this, these are the two most motivated Indian teams in a long time. So the conditions are perfect, and I'm optimistic. Well, it's a very interesting point uh, that you make. The computers have uh, made the games uh, between the uh, higher ranked and the lower ranked teams very, very close in this upcoming Chess Olympiad. We'll of course keep uh, forward. Uh, we'll. 
keep looking forward to that tournament for the first time it is happening in india it is a tournament of many firsts thank you very much vishwanathan anand for joining us on the broadcast